Well, you guys, you can no longer upgrade to Windows 11 or Windows 10 for free anymore from Windows 7, Windows 8 or Windows 8.1. You can still upgrade from uh, Windows 10 to Windows 11 for free, but you can't do it on these older operating systems. Also, Microsoft have closed the loophole where you can use old license keys, for instance, Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 keys to activate Windows 10 or Windows 11. And you won't be able to do that on the newer versions of Windows 11 once they're released. Now, this loophole has been left open since Microsoft offered a free upgrade back in 2015 when they launched Windows 10. They offered a one year free upgrade policy, which would allow people to upgrade to Windows 10 from Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows 8.1. And this would be free up until uh, July 29th, 2016. But Microsoft never closed this window and just left it open. So the activation servers were left open for allowing people to upgrade for free from Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 to Windows 10. Or they could do even a fresh install of Windows 10 or Windows 11 and use old product keys from Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 8.1, these keys could still be used to activate Windows 10 or even Windows 11. And I've even made videos showing that. But lately, Microsoft have now closed that window and uh, blocked the path for activating uh, Windows 10 or Windows 11 with these old keys. As you can see right here on the screen, this was possible by even upgrading from Windows 7 to Windows 10 with ease, and it would automatically uh, activate even long after 2016. So now, uh, if you wanted to uh, use those keys, you can still activate Windows 7 with those keys, but you're not going to be able to have a free option to upgrade to Windows 10 uh, from Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows 8.1. You're also not going to be allowed to. Uh, use those keys to activate like you uh, would have done in the past, as Microsoft have announced here. Windows ends the installation path for free Windows 7 and Windows 8 upgrade. Microsoft's free upgrade offer for Windows 10 and Windows 11 ended in July 29, 2016. The installation path to obtain the Windows 7 or Windows 8 free upgrade is now removed as well. So upgrades to Windows 11 from Windows 10 are still free, as I've already mentioned. So this is officially from Microsoft themselves. So why they've gone down this path, I do not know. It's probably to stop uh, piracy or anything like that from people reselling old keys and making profit from those old keys to activate Windows 10 or Windows 11. Or maybe it's the fact that these operating systems are end of life and they just want to kill off any old keys. Now, you can still use those keys to activate the operating system that they were designed for. For instance, Windows 7 keys will activate Windows 7, and Windows 8 keys will activate Windows 8, but you're just not going to be able to use those keys to upgrade to Windows 10 or even Windows 11, or even activate Windows 10 or Windows 11 with those older keys. Now, people have tested the theory and said it still activates Windows 11 at 22 H2, but I don't think it's going to activate any newer versions of Windows further down the line. And we all know that Windows 11 uh, gets end of life very quickly on older versions. So I don't think it's going to be long before that window closes for all of those operating systems and you won't be able to use them. Now, another big problem I think I can see looming is that whether Microsoft are now going to close and enforce the system requirements for Windows 11. If they're going this far to actually block activation of Windows 10 and Windows 11 from old keys, then maybe they will even enforce the system requirements for Windows 11 on older systems. They've let that loophole stay open where you can do a workaround, but maybe just maybe they may enforce that system requirements, which will then cause a lot of problems for a lot of people. I don't know whether they will. It's just some sort of uh, theory that if they're going this far with Windows 7 and Windows 8 and 8.1 keys, 
maybe they will just go as far as just closing the door or the loophole on the unsupported hardware. How they would do that, I don't know. Uh, I've got my own theories on how they would do it, but I'm not going to share them today in today's video because we are going off topic. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it for this video. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members, whether you're tier one, tier two, or tier three, I really do appreciate the support. And I shall catch you in the very next video. Don't forget, guys, leave a comment down below and also thumb the videos up. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. And I shall catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.